do you like cauliflower? If you do, please leave a comment below telling me how you prepare it, because I have never ever enjoyed this vegetable. It's not that I find anything really bad about it, but I also don't find anything good about it. It's just kind of boring and bland. However, my wife Ava has changed my mind both about eggplant and zucchini, two vegetables I always thought I hated. So today we're gonna see if she can do the same with cauliflower. She's going to show me five recipes from her native homeland of Italy, everything from antipasto to dessert, apparently. Let's find out if I've been wrong about cauliflower this whole time. That's a lot of cauliflower. And I hope that is enough also because I will need boiled cauliflower for all my recipe. So I decide to boil all in a once. All in a once? You see, all in a once. All in a once, yeah. Ah, all the cauliflower in one time. You understand that your cauliflower is ready when you can easily stick a knife in uh, one piece of cauliflower without any problem. So I assume your cauliflower antipasto is a bruschetta? Yes, Harper, we are making a crostino di pitigliano, which is in Tuscany. Which is Tuscany, for those of us who As don't speak Italian. <laughs> but to Tuscany, to Toscana, you can understand where it's from. And as every American knows, everything from Tuscany is amazing. Now here, here in America, just add the word Tuscan, it means that you can charge it three, three times more than a normal price. It's actually been a really long time since you've cooked a bruschetta. Maybe last time I cooked a bruschetta two years ago. Something like that. Should we do a whole video on different bruschette? Let it us know in the be, comments. It would be very, very fun. So this is the crostino that they made in the city of Pitigliano, which is a wonderful Tuscan city in the south of Tuscany. And they serve cauliflower with anchovies. It's a little odd. No, it's not odd, Arpe. It seems odd to me. I have to say it smells very good. Anchovies, cauliflower, together. Buon appetito! Buon appetito. It seems less weird now that I've tasted it. The taste of cauliflower and anchovies together is like eggplants and tomatoes. They are perfect together. I'm not gonna lie, when we sat down here to taste this, I was fully expecting to say, oh, the bruschetta with the garlic and the anchovies and the olive oil is good, but I don't really see what the cauliflower is doing. No, the cauliflower specifically tastes really good with the anchovies. Because the cauliflower actually has a delicate taste. It doesn't have a strong taste. So the cauliflower balances the taste of the anchovies and the taste of garlic. That is really good. Also, I know I've said this before, do not, if, if you don't like anchovies, do not let that turn you away from this because if you just had a blindfold on and took a bite of this, you would have no idea there's fish on this. Is it common for Tuscan dishes to be pretty peppery? 
I seem to notice that. That's one thing I love about this. Usually you find a lot of black paper in Tuscan food. Tuscan food. Okay, we're off to a good start. You've created a cauliflower antipasto that I definitely can appreciate the cauliflower on. I feel like cauliflower wouldn't work very well because it's so like bulbous and big. It wouldn't work very well in like a, like a pasta dish. Arper. What are you saying right now? As you can see, I saved the, the water from the cauliflower because I'm going to cook my pasta here this time to give more the flavor of cauliflower to my pasta. Extra cauliflower. Extra cauliflower flavor. <laughs> More anchovies, huh? They are perfect with cauliflower. More cauliflower, more anchovies. That smells so good. Cauliflower and anchovies. I know, it smells so good. <laughs> What are these, Tuscan breadcrumbs? <laughs> no, this is Sicilian breadcrumbs. Actually, these breadcrumbs, it has a name, and it's called Mujica Turrata. It's very, very important for this kind of pasta that while you are cooking your cauliflower in the sauce, you mash it because at the end we want a sort of cream of cauliflower. Ah, so that's why it works. I imagined a pasta with just like big pieces of cauliflower. It seemed weird to me. Aper. Bucatini. Because the traditional pasta that we use to make this pasta is bucatini. I should have known you would cook it into a creamy cauliflower sauce. Not that I cook it like that. Sicilian cook this like that. Pasta qui broccoli arriminati. <laughs> cauliflower pasta, okay. I love breadcrumbs on pasta, and I love raisins in pasta. Some of my favorite pastas have raisins in them. I'm very curious to see how the raisins go with cauliflower and anchovies though. Oh, bucatini. It's the hardest pasta to eat. Bon appetito. Bon appetito. Oh, that's really good. That works really well all together. No, and this is one of the best pasta in the world. I thought you were exaggerating, but that is truly, truly amazing. It has everything that a good pasta should have. Texture, creaminess, flavor. The dish shares a lot in common with the bruschetta, with the crostino. So I was expecting that kind of taste, but this is a much more mild, sweeter flavor. It's way more different than I was expecting and really, really delicious. It's a very, how do you say, sour, sweet? Sweet and sour. Sweet, sweet and sour taste. Yeah. Well, you proved me completely wrong. Cauliflower not only works in pasta, it's delicious in pasta. So we've had our antipasto, our primo. That must mean it's time for a second course.
For our second course, I'm making a recipe that is made in all of Sicily, but every city has its own shape, has its own version. We are going to do something in between Ragusa and Palermo. Let it rest for about two or three hours or until he double in size. <laughs> crying. See, Alper, I, I, I'm crying because of the onion. <laughs> Alper, do we put a spicy pepper? Uh, the answer to that, for me, is always yes. Let's do it. The original version requires uh, the cacio cavallo from Sicily. Now I couldn't find it, but I found uh, a ricotta salata, and I'm pretty sure that this can work very well. Anchovies. Who could have guessed? And cauliflower, Harper. So Italian MSG is anchovy. I love that you made a cauliflower pie. This is still from Sicily, again from Sicily. It's called Cuduroni. So they really, they do a lot of cauliflower stuff in Sicily. They huh? love their cauliflower. Ah. Buon, Buon appetito. Mmm. It's spicy because we put the spicy pepper. When you bite into the cauliflower, it's sweet. When you bite into the olives, it's more it's stronger. And the anchovies and the cheese, it's very close to the perfection. I guess this makes sense because this is also from Sicily, like the pasta, but the filling is sort of similar to the pasta in that it kind of embraces the sweeter side of the cauliflower. The onions, when they're cooked down, get sweet, but it still has that, yeah, that's that savory punch from the olives. Ooh, I really like that. It's very good. In Sicily, they know how to treat the cauliflower. Clearly, I learned something new about Sicilian food almost every day. I think your next challenge is probably actually gonna be the easiest one, because now you need to make a contorno, a side dish. Cauliflower is probably most often used as a side dish. I have an idea on what can I do. 
But this time, in my opinion, it's also fair to leave Sicily and maybe to go in some other region. What a surprise! What the anchovies? In the region where this uh, dish is from, uh, they love anchovies as much as they love in Sicily. I'm on board. I am uh, now a disciple of anchovies with cauliflower. Oh, it's from Tuscany. See, this is a mix of Tuscany and Sicily. Not only is this the most cauliflower I've ever eaten in a day, it is now <laughs> far and away the most anchovies I've eaten in a day. Does every Italian dish with cauliflower have anchovies in it? Uh, not the next one. <laughs> the dessert, okay. The dessert doesn't have anchovies. I'm not complaining because it's delicious. It truly is. Arpir, here, uh, guess where we are. It's north. North? I have no idea. Arpir, here we are in Piedmont. Ah. This is called Cavol Fiore alla Cavour. Oh, it smells very good. It does smell good. It smells different from the others, too. And That's for sure. This is from Piedmont. <laughs> Has that Piedmont smell. <laughs> Has the Piedmont smell. <laughs> the typical and traditional smell from Piedmont. Buon appetito. <laughs> it's too good. It's a very, very good cauliflower dish. These dishes keep surprising me. It's really very different from the other dishes. Yeah, it has a more cheesy, eggy thing. So a totally different flavor profile. And I really thought because this one is the most unadulterated cauliflower dish, that this would be the one that I liked the least. This is a super good side dish. I would be absolutely thrilled to have this for dinner any night. I have a feeling this is gonna end up being a weekly staple for us. New love and new respect for cauliflower, Harper? Absolutely. I now truly really like cauliflower. I've come to really like cauliflower and anchovies. But I swear, Ava, we have one more thing to cook and it's dessert. And if there's any anchovies, that's too, too far for me. It's too far. <laughs> Okay, now do we put the anchovies in? Do we want to try? <laughs> no, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Thank you.
sweet cauliflower sweet cauliflower fritters. Incette di cavolfiore dolci. I don't think that if you go to Sicily and say fritters, they understand what we are talking about. These are also from Sicily. These are also from Sicily. <laughs> And actually, this dish has a very nice story because it was made by the old women from a neighbor's. They usually they were the nannies. All the kids they went there. So in order to keep busy the kids, the grandmothers they made this spinchette and gave it to the kids. A spoonful of sugar makes the cauliflower go down. What a potato! Oh dang. Oh, dang. They are crunchy outside, but soft inside. Dang. Not too sweet because at the end, the, most of the sugar is just outside. There's very little sugar inside, and while they're sweet and very delicious, it, the sugar doesn't cover up the taste of cauliflower. Oh, you can taste the cauliflower. In fact, maybe I taste cauliflower more in this than in any other dish today. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. And with very, very good results. For sure, I can say that cauliflower works wonderful, wonderful from the antipasto to the dessert. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, we hope we gave you some new ideas for ways to cook with anchovies, I mean, cauliflower at home. If you try any of the recipes, tag us in a picture on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or somewhere, at Pasta Grammar. If you do, you might end up here, like Carolina. She's been cooking a lot of our recipes recently and she made some amazing looking bracciole. Brava! Thanks for trying the recipe, Carolina. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Ciao. Um, you could just, you could truly sell these in like a donut shop and people will go bonkers for them. I wouldn't go back. You would go back. I wouldn't go back. Wouldn't means that you don't. I wouldn't go back to normal donuts. Oh. Oh, you thought I meant to the shop. Uh. No, no, I'd go back to the shop many times for these.